Scott Rowland is entering the Hall of Fame. He'll be wearing a Cardinals hat on his plaque, but we hope he remembers his roots. The Phillies selected Scott Rowland in the second round of the 93 draft. He began his career with the rookie-level Martinsville Phillies of the Appalachian League. He got an invite to spring training in 94, but was ultimately assigned to Low A Spartansburg of the South Atlantic League, where he was named Spartanburg's most valuable player after batting 294 with 14 home runs and 72 RBIs. The 90s began the era of the pre-rookie, so there are quite a few minor league cards and prospect cards that let us follow Roland to the show. One of the first was this 1994 Upper Deck Top Prospect card where he's shown with the Spartanburg Phillies wearing number 21. Not a bad stat line for his first full year either. For 1995, he was promoted to Class A Clearwater. His 95 best card, number 89, is a Clearwater Classic. In August of that year, after hitting 290 with 10 home runs, Roland was promoted to the AA Reading Phillies of the Eastern League. Best, again, gave us his Reading Phillies card. He started the 96 season still in Reading, but got a quick promotion to AAA Scranton Wilkesbury in June, and by August he was in the show. In 1996, Bowman and Topps had caught on to the rising star. 1996 Bowman card number 114 mentions he had all the marks of a gold glover. He won eight, and a future all-star. He won seven of those. Bowman for the win in 96. Topps issued a prospects card, which Roland shares with three other players. And Roland looks uh, unhappy at having to share the spotlight. Also a great read on the future. So Roland gets called up on August 1st, 1996. What should have been Roland's official rookie season came to a premature end on September 7th when he broke his arm after being hit by a pitch from Steve Traxel in a 4-2 Phillies win over the Cubs. His season was over. But he only had 130 at-bats, the maximum allowed for him to retain Rookie of the Year consideration for 97. Had Roland not broken his arm, he would have been considered a 1996 rookie but a hit-by-pitch does not count as an at-bat, thus preserving his eligibility for the following season. His official rookie card is the 1997 Tops number 268, a year in which he was the unanimous choice for Rookie of the Year, the first Philly since Dick Allen in 1964 to win the award. In 1998, he won his first of eight gold gloves, and his 1998 Tops card number 25 gives him all-star rookie treatment even though he wasn't an all-star until 2002. His 99 card, number 125, has a little star on the back giving him credit for his Rookie of the Year award. His 2000 tops card is number 328. Remember, traditionally the good players get cards ending in 0 or 5, with the superstars getting the even 100 slots. So Topps saw a late 99 injury as a concern, and his production dropped off a bit as his friction with Phillies manager Larry Boa increased. His 2001 Topps card, number 478, still got common card treatment, but mentions Roland was the second fastest Phillies player ever to 100 home runs, behind only Del Ennis of WizKids fame. In 2002, Scott Roland really came to form. His card, number 610, was moved back to star position. He got a special gold glove card too, number 709, having already won three in his short career. Unfortunately for Phillies fans... Roland was destined to take his gold gloves elsewhere. It was pretty clear as he was entering free agency that he wasn't going to sign with the Phillies for the long term, and it got a bit ugly in the media. Rather than let him go, the Phillies traded Scott Roland to the Cardinals for Placido Polanco and Bud Smith, among others. David Bell took over at third base in 2004, and Jim Tomei was signed to replace Roland's bat. On September 25, 2002, Roland signed an eight-year, $90 million contract with the Cardinals. It's a shame that Scott Roland couldn't be a career Philadelphia man. It's a shame the fans turned on him. And it's really a shame that his 2002 card is his last in a Phillies uniform, as the 2002 top set is perhaps the ugliest of all time. Roland is going into Cooperstown as a St. Louis Cardinal. But he has been inducted to the Phillies Wall of Fame, and so we'll get a plaque at Citizens Bank Park. That'll have to do. Congratulations, Scott Rowland. Welcome to Cooperstown. And thanks for the baseball cards. Thanks for watching. Regarding Scott Rowland, I hope you're still not sore. 
and tune in next time for more baseball card stories, legends, and more.